Good dog. Hello. I think calm and recall is the most important command of all. If you have to teach your dog one thing and one thing only, that should be to come when called. If you cannot call the dog and if it doesn't come to you, you have no control over it. And uh, the dog that comes to the owner when called looks good. And the owner of that dog looks good too. Kora, come. That's a good puppy. That's a good puppy. Come when call is actually a very easy command to teach. Oh, he wants to, he wants to treat. Yes, here you go. Yes, never forget the reward. Never forget the reward. Here you go. That's a good dog. That's a good dog. I started teaching Koda Kam command as soon as we got him. And when he was a little puppy, every time he would walk away a little bit, just a little distance like that. I would say, Kora, come, 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 Kora. Oh, it's good, it's good. Well, he was a little puppy there. <laughs> he didn't do this stuff. I mean, he did that, do that stuff, but it was like that small. So then you play with him, you play with him, you scratch his belly, he would lay down to scratch his belly, and uh, we had fun. And then I would wait, maybe I would walk away, maybe I would wait for him to walk away a little bit, and I would call again, Kora, come, come here, come. Oh, it's a good dog, oh, it's a good dog. That's a good dog. And every time you praise him and you give him some daily rub and uh, play, when they get a little older, then the treat becomes a good motivator. When they're little puppies, just to play is the best. That's all they want to do, to play. Um, so every time you call the dog, you must make sure you reward him with the treat, with the play. So for the puppy, it becomes a feel good command. Every time he comes to you, he knows he's gonna get some nice treat or maybe just a play. It's gonna be a fun time. So coming to you, it's good. You might see a lot of recommendations to use leash on the dogs, but that would be for the older dogs. Uh, some dogs that were not trained properly when they were puppies. I never used any leash on the uh, on Koda to train him. And um, for the puppies, it's actually counterproductive to use force because if the puppy is got scared or you intimidate him, it's going to make the whole training process difficult. The puppy must want to come to you. That's the goal. The puppy must want to come to you. And every time you call, he knows that something is good is going to happen. So maybe you're going to play. Maybe he's going to get a nice treat. But he knows something is going to happen very, very nice. It's important to notice that when you call the dog, come. That command, come, has to be pronounced consistently. The same word, same intonation, and uh, you must achieve that the dog comes. So when he comes, you give the reward. If it doesn't come, as a puppy doesn't come, then you need to make sure he comes. How you do that? It's uh, differently. Simply uh, show him the toy, show him the uh, treat, he's gonna come. And then you give it to him. Say, Hey, come, come, here you go, <laughs> here you go. Or maybe sometimes if you play outside and he's far away, the older dog, you can try to dig something on the ground and uh, he would get curious and come. Or maybe you can try, um, if the dog is uh, chasing, if you're chasing after the dog, he's gonna run away. If you run away from the dog, he's gonna start chasing you. So in this play, you, as you run away, you say, come, come, gonna come, and he's gonna come to you. So you need to be consistent pronouncing the uh, come command, and you have to be persistent to make sure that he comes all the time. And lots of repetition. Basically, every time that puppy walks away, tell him to come and play. Try to use every opportunity to use the come command. For example, if you give the dog food, don't say cheerfully, oh, it's dinner time. Who is a hungry puppy? No, say, come. Come, Kora, come. That's a good dog. That's a good dog. And you give him the food. 
Okay, take. That's a good one. There you go. After that, you can say all the words you want, whatever you want to say. The other important aspect is make sure you never yell at the dog, reprimand the dog, hit the dog when he comes after you call. You don't want to create any negative association with the command come because then the dog is not going to come. He is going to feel he can't trust you. If I say come, he knows it's safe to come. He knows something good is going to happen and he's always going to come. And if I just want to punish him, I would have to find a way to catch him otherwise without saying the word come. For example, if you come home and the dog is chewing on the shoe, do not say come and then uh, punish him and say, hey, why did you he eat my shoe? If the dog came to you, you have to praise him. No matter what he did before that, if you call the dog and the dog came, you must praise him because he did exactly what he wanted him to do. He came. Water, come here. It's important to note that the dog must respond when you say the command once. So your command should be come, not come, come, come. Because if you train the dog like that, come, 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 then he's gonna feel that, uh, then he's gonna learn that this is a command, not the calm command, yeah, but it's come, 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 come. Yeah, and uh, he's gonna wait for you to pronounce it three times or four times or whatever times. So in the beginning, when the puppy is uh, small, for you, it's important to just create association that uh, this is the calm, the word calm means you, you, the, he has to approach you and then he's going to get the reward. When he gets that, then you simply start saying the command come once. What's going to happen, he might stop and wait and see if you're going to say it again and again. And if you don't, then he would come. So give him a chance to come. If he if you see that uh, he stopped and you know he, you said only command come once, not three times in a row, and he wants to keep doing whatever he was doing, you repeat the command, but again repeat it once and wait. So eventually he's going to come. He's going to learn that one time you said command come, and that's when he's supposed to come. There is another note I want to make that, in my opinion, the word come is very common. We often say, "Hey, come on." Do you want to come? So sometimes in conversation, we have one have conversation with the dog, you can pronounce the word come. And then uh, in conversation with other people, you can also say come. So also, if you have children in the house or other family members who are not as strict with enforcing the rules, then that come command becomes diluted because they might say, they might tell the dog come and forget to give a reward. Or they might tell him to come just to stop him running after the squirrel and um, they don't necessarily wait for the dog to actually come, but just as soon as he stop running after the squirrel, you know, they're happy. What that creates in the dog's mind is that the calm command is not really important. It's something that is optional. And this is very important, especially with other family members who fall for puppy eyes or who fall for the dog persistent nagging the dog be thinking that uh, maybe those family members are not high enough on the pecking order to listen to them. So it's important that the dog understands that you have authority to demand the obedience. So if you say come, that means he has to come. In order to avoid that situation where that same word gets untrained, as I call it, I would suggest to probably introduce different word that uh, only you're gonna use and this way come becomes everyday command which is optional and if it comes 80% uh, of the time it's still okay and the other command you can pick a, a whistle or word or anything you want that other command becomes a must you absolutely have to uh, come when you call that, uh, use that other word or command you would train that often you would train that in all different environments and uh, when you know, gradually make it more complicated when he uh, chasing the squirrel, something like that. So that other command becomes formal and usually uh, he would supposed to come and stand next to you on your left. When he comes to come command, it just comes in front of you, you see it. 
or maybe he, simp he simply approaches you. It uh, depends how you want to train your dog. If you see the dog is busy and uh, uh, probably is not going to listen to you, uh, do not chance it, do not try to train the command at that time. Wait a few minutes uh, until he finish uh, with whatever he was doing and then try it again. Even if you call him once and uh, you see he's not responding because nature calls and nature always uh, beats your call, just wait a little bit until he's done with his business and then call again. Be consistent. If you call the dog and he came, always give him a reward. Always pronounce the word the same intonation, the same way and always require obedience. If you tell the dog to come, do not hit him or start yelling at him or simply ignore him. That will indicate to the dog that coming to you was not worth it. Be persistent. If you tell the dog to come and he did not come and you kind of let it slide, then the dog will decide that the come command is optional and he would only come if he feels like it. Do not end your day by allowing the dog not to complete the command. Uh, remember that the training is a two-way process. If you don't teach the dog obedience, then you teach him disobedience. And um, if you let it slide, the dog will decide that it's up to him to do the command. The dog's brain does not mature until they're about two years old. For GSP, it's, uh, they say it's about two and a half to three years old. They learn quickly, but they unlearn quickly too. So be consistent with your command, be persistent requiring obedience, and repeat the, uh, the training often.